on guys? It's been a minute, it's your boy Plex, and today I'm going to show you three things I would check on a 2014 Rushmore Street Glide. Did you use this still wrong? Alright, so you just got done buying your used 2014, 2015, 2016 Touring Harley Street Glide, Road Glide, whatever it is. Let me show you the first three things that I would check. Number one, right here at the saddlebag, and this is a big one. You see how this loosens and tightens? This is what locks my saddlebags in right here. And this didn't come with the bike. This is actually aftermarket. Um, you know, this is gonna hold it tight so it really ain't gonna come out. So if you look here and you see a chrome bolt looking thing that like circles around where you just give it half a twist and it pops right out, get rid of that. Order on Amazon, find some of these saddlebag bolts. Um, and you'll thank yourself. I actually had one fly off on me on the road. I lost my saddlebag um, going right outside of New York City and I uh, went back looking for it and it was nowhere to be found. So, and uh, you know, I had the extended service plan with Harley and then they didn't even cover it. So I had to actually ended up having to come out of pocket. Um, but that's the first thing I would check. If you got those old saddlebag bolts, you gotta get those changed, those changed. You got to get those changed. Second thing I would check, grab a paper towel and check your oil. So this is a piece of cake, easy as could be, but you'd be surprised how many people would forget this. So right here, just going to break this little piece loose here, going to pull it out. All right. So you'll see here it says full hot uh, on Jiffy stand. Um, that's that's the one you're gonna want right there, the one at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip it back in and take a look. And mine's a little bit below full, so I could actually stand to add a little bit. That's all right. It's almost time for oil change on mine, anyways. All right. So in the third and final thing um, that I would check, and this is just a simple thing. Um, it's even kind of goofy. Uh, but it is something that actually matters quite a bit. So every every uh, tour of Harley is going to have this flashing red light here. You see it flashing right next to the speedometer. All right, when I cut this on, when I cut the bike on and start it, that should go away. If that red light does not go away, it can mean a number of things, but one of them is that your key fob's probably almost out of batteries, and you don't want to get stranded without that. You don't want to have to call Harley looking for your code. Just go ahead, change that battery, see if it goes away. That's the next thing I would check, and that's the last thing I would check. All right, everybody, so that's going to do it. Quick and easy, three quick things that you can check that might just help you out a little bit. That went fast. Catch you next time.